I'd like to know what you think about this. The Aptera Solar Charge electric car that we're, we've been waiting for for quite, quite some time that a lot of us are quite excited about. Myself, I pre-ordered one. Uh, many of you have. Some invested so much, 10,000 minimum, that they got on what's called the accelerator list, which means they should get theirs first. 2,000 or so slots are available for that. And we just found out, I think today or yesterday, today, that only the first 60 of those uh, 2,000 will actually receive their Aptera's in 2025. Now, here's what I like your comment on. We still don't know the price. Uh, we're hoping somewhere around $35,000 is what we've heard, but we don't really know for sure. We're hopeful. Some are c concerned, and, and I see why. I got an email from a good friend of the channel, Jerry Molnar, and he expressed some concern that by the time Aptera gets it, gets into public, you know, gets, I mean, more than 60, gets, you know, a couple thousand on the road, it'll be 2026, and perhaps by then there'll be other options available that are more affordable and uh, have some of the same character characteristics we love, like uh, super efficient cars. One example he gave, and now this one I consider to be quite mythical, the Tesla Model 2, because I don't think that's ever going to really happen. If it does, I think it'll be way, way down the line. Tesla had hinted, Elon had come out and said that they have an affordable car for everybody, 25000 or whatever, but, you know, we don't know. Then they just rolled out the RoboCab um, recently, but they didn't really roll it out, but they showed it. They let people take rides in it in a very controlled space at a studio lot. Uh, this is not close to happening in my in my you know opinion for what it's worth and my opinion comes from many years of watching EV startups including Tesla uh, try to meet deadlines and fail one company made their deadline and that's Fisker remember Fisker Ocean they're now in bankruptcy but they got their car out on time no one else seems to be able to do it that's not a major player that's okay and even the major players you know, have delay after delay after delay. None of them seem to come out anywhere near the price they say it's going to be. But in the comments, we let me know what you think. Will Aptera be too late to the game if it's 2026 and 7 before we have thousands of these on the road? Or is it just different enough? Is the solar electricity, the hyper efficiency, the three wheel drive, are, are the three wheel you know, system, <laughs> so what the, the, the three wheel vehicle. Are these things different enough to where Aptera will stand out so much that it will not be a competitor for it? The first one I think we would actually see is the new Chevy Bolt that'll be coming out soon next year, I believe. And maybe the Kia EV3, these will be small, affordable by a lot of people's standards, EVs. Uh, they may qualify for government subsidies that the Aptera as of now will not. So they may be less expensive, small, efficient, decent range, things like that. But is that enough for you to pass on the Aptera? Uh, I'll give you my thoughts if you want them. If you don't, this would be a great place to stop the video. To me, the Aptera is such a different vehicle. If I just wanted a good car, I'm happy driving the BMW i3, happy driving the Nissan Leaf. I'd be happy in a Chevy Volt plug-in hybrid. I'd be happy in a used Chevy Bolt. These are all great, affordable, normal cars. Uh, but the Aptera is different. It charges by the sun. It's shaped like a dolphin. It has uh, doors that open up all strange. It's lightweight, super efficient. It uses a very small battery to go a long ways. It, for instance, if the battery that would be in the launch edition Aptera was in my Nissan Leaf, my Nissan Leaf would get about 125 miles. But since it's in the Aptera, it'll get 400 miles. That's just unmatched efficiency. And I don't think if Tesla ever does come out with an affordable everyday people car, I don't think it'll come close to the Aptera. I think it'll be about half the efficiency. Uh, the Kia EV3 will certainly not be as efficient as the Aptera. So the ability to use a small battery and go far with all the other things I mentioned makes the Aptera just an absolute winner for me. That's me. In the comments, let me know what you think. Is Aptera too late? Uh, will Aptera make it to the dance in time to find someone to dance with? I appreciate everybody watching. We really appreciate the members of the channel. 
you keep the wheels spinning on the positively charged EV channel. The Mug Club members that bought mugs so Sarah and I can get back to California. We still have your money and we're going to put it to good use with plane tickets uh, very soon. Here's another video here. If you are just interested in a regular car, this is what I consider the top three uh, used, affordable by most people's standards, EVs that you can buy today. Check it out. By the way, I'm riding in one of them right now.